Sometimes you need a robot to do two things at the same time. Here we have a simple program that moves forward for five seconds, then turns right for five seconds, and then runs some other motor plugged into E for five seconds. If, for example, you wanted to do these last two functions simultaneously, the current code wouldn't do that. First it would turn right for five seconds, and then it would start the motor because they're stacked on top of each other. So let's talk about the two different ways you can make these things happen simultaneously. One way is you could just get another stack to start right here. So when program starts will happen at the exact same time. And then you can have a wait that takes the place of this first pink five seconds. So you would do it like this. And then you'd put one of them over here like that. So while it was moving forward, this stack of programming would be waiting. And then when it starts to turn right, it would also uh, turn on this E motor. So that's option one. Option two, which is a little different, like say if you're deeper into a program, you may not want to have to count out the weights or you may not even be able to count the weights. Option two would be to use uh, this broadcast right here. So let's grab that. That. So you'd have your first movement happen, and then you would have your program in this stack send out a message. You could name it something else, but for now we'll just leave that. And then you could make multiple stacks, two, three, four, so that when that is that message is received, it runs both of these stacks at the same time. 